Hey everyone and welcome back. This is a video I've been wanting to do for quite some time and it's going to be the process of me 3D printing the DJI Inspire. You can see a picture of it here. Um, as soon as this thing came out, I fell in love with it. Once I looked at the price, I realized probably not something I'm going to buy. I have a few of these quadcopters and tricopters and whatnot and this one was just too steep to uh, warrant what was in it. But I found something. I found a guy named uh, CDR Skull on Thingiverse and his website, I think this one is diyrc.co.uk and he had his own spin on this design and he looked at the Inspire and kind of designed what he thought was close to it and um, produced these files and hosted them online so you can download them, you can jump on the site for free, he doesn't ask for anything, he's got a little donate button at the top but other than that you can take the files and use them how you like and build your own Inspire. So that's what I am planning on doing. Uh, it's quite a big project, tons of printing. So I started the printing. I ordered the carbon tube and some of the other stuff that comes with it. And uh, so let's see what I got printed. Here you can see what I've been working on so far. Uh, it's all just black PLA. Um, the part this part specifically is one of the parts that the carbon tube comes into at one angle and then branches off at another angle for the motor supports. Uh, comes in two halves. I printed this one with support, didn't need support, but I'm not in any time rush for this project to be finished, so doing everything the best I can. Um, so yeah, quite a bushel of parts. This is probably three continuous days of printing. I print day and night. Um, just why not? Printers don't care when you're sleeping. and. Uh, so let's, uh, let's take a look at the Orca, which I print everything on. This is my uh, Orca, well it's not my Orca design, but it's the uh, Orca. It's a really old printer, but I fell in love with it, started printing with it, and now I've kept it for two, three years and haven't upgraded because it does everything I need to do, and the modifications I made to it, it, it works great. Uh, it's all aluminum and steel and printed parts, and it's come on a few trips with me, and anyways, great printer. This is also the first printer I ran as a network printer. I run a little Raspberry Pi running Octoprint, and it's definitely the way to print. I can start the print from any computer in my house, and I can check the status of it from anywhere um, on, my, on my home network here, which is awesome when it's printing at night, because I can just flip open my phone and go, um, you know, where's the print stat? I mean, flip open my phone, who has a flip phone nowadays? But uh, anyways, super convenient. And the heated bed on this one is actually a dumb heated bed. It's just some power resistors connected to that big aluminum plate. It only gets up to about 70 degrees, so it, it works perfectly. Um, beside it, you can see my tantalus. I'm starting to rebuild uh, to make it match this one. And all the printed parts, the tripod that's in the way. That's probably only half the parts we need to print, so I got a lot ahead of me yet. And my little dexterized milling section of my, my office to keep the... Uh, chips from getting everywhere but I'll shoot another video on this because there's lots lots to be said about that new milling machine I got anyways I will keep printing and I'll shoot an update video when we got more parts made and we will go from there so thanks everyone bye if you like what you saw please consider subscribing it helps my channel out a bunch and if you're already a subscriber thanks so much for watching you guys are the reasons that are you guys you guys and girls yeah mostly guys probably uh, you people are the reason I make these videos, and uh, if you keep watching them, I'll keep making them.